Hey Geeks, Barry here with Geek Out Studio and today I'm going to do kind of a little quick tutorial uh, work video on how to edit uh, PEP files or just uh, templates in general to better work with foam. Uh, here I'm using Armor Smith Designer which gives you a workplace um, so like click on here Here's the costume where you size it and uh, place it on your mannequin. Then you pick uh, each piece, go to the workplace, and here's where you can edit the templates. So now this one is uh, quote unquote um, already made for foam. So if we zoom in, wrong, wrong one. So if we zoom in, you can see that there, there. It has uh, a lot of the work um, has ha there's not a whole lot of how should we say a lot of um, slits um, a lot of the detail um, is probably off the screen and everything but the thing is is that we can still uh, make this a little bit easier and better for to work with for foam and to demonstrate that I'm going to rotate the piece uh, this uh, Spartan piece and we're going to look at uh, this piece right here that cuts up under the arm and uh, we'll probably look at this piece that well actually this piece will do a lot better now you can see here that the 3d model um, once this piece goes together, you basically have two planes. You have uh, the outside plane and then this plane that uh, cuts in uh, around the arm. Now, the template, if we go over here, if I click on the uh, right one, so if we go over here, it keeps, this is the piece we're looking at. And if we look at the template, we can see that it tells us basically we're going to fold these uh, these lines. Now, depending on the thickness of your foam, uh, for this project I'm using uh, half inch foam, you can do this, but really it's a whole lot of work and there's no real clean great way uh, basically you would undercut the foam and fold it uh, to this shape what I'm what I tend to do now is that I uh, basically will go around and cut all of these uh, I'll cut along this line and then uh, determine the angle and basically uh, cut the, uh, how should I say, we're going to cut the pieces according to that angle there. And to do this, it's pretty simple. You just right click, uh, select the join cut option, and then we're just going to come along here and cut these pieces out. Now, um, you can see that it's going to separate all of them out uh, and like I said we're going to actually just make this one piece and depending on how these piece uh, how we'll how we rejoin these pieces we might make this one piece um, and that way you'll get a much um, a much cleaner edge uh, your angles will be much better because uh, I use a bandsaw so you can set the bandsaw to the angle you need and then just cut so now with this it's the same uh, same so we've cut these now we're going to go through and see if we can join these pieces together and we can and so you can see we're now making what would have been a whole bunch of uh, little pieces. I'll move them here in a second. We're making it into basically two. So 
right click translate this will allow us to and now you can see we now have basically two pieces that once we we cut we'll cut uh, an inside bevel and an outside bevel uh, we'll cut an inside bevel on this piece and an outside bevel on that piece um, to whatever uh, degree we want uh, looking at the model that could be 45 degrees or more but we set the bandsaw cut it and we glue it uh, in place and we'll get a nice uh, clean seam we don't have to undercut or anything like that uh, so with some of these um, now we can see here that we've got this uh, this this panel here which uh, aligns with this one so I'll probably end up doing the same thing and um, cutting this and uh, doing the same thing we did here uh, so anyways that's just a uh, quick little uh, trick I want to uh, share with you um, I'll probably go through the whole template and see if I can do basically the same thing across the whole template just making it uh, a bit more easier and once it's all done should be a lot nicer to look at uh, template so anyways be sure to like and subscribe um, or follow if you have any uh, questions comments leave them in the uh, comment section uh, below and I will see y'all next time